Hi, my name is Penny Metzger here from the Office of Instructional Technology at the University of New Orleans, and today we are going over how to create a quiz in Moodle. Let's enter the course you'd like to work on. Today, I'll be working in the Moodle Training Sandbox. I'm going to go ahead and dock my navigation bar just to give me more room on the screen. If you need help with docking, I'll post a link to that video in the description. We've already created our quiz questions in the last video, so if you need help with that, again, there's another link. I want to add this quiz to Chapter 1, so I'm going to turn my editing on. And then when I see Add an Activity or Resource, I'm going to click that. Now we can scroll down to where we see Quiz, select it, and click Add. Your quiz will need a name, and you can give it a description if you'd like. Next, I'm going to hit Expand All here on the top right corner of your screen. This expands all these options below. The first thing we see is timing. Timing allows us to set an open and close date for the quiz. Also, it allows us to give the quiz time limits but you have to make sure to enable these options here if you would like to use any of them. Under Grade, you can put the quiz into a gradebook category if you have one created. You can also change the number of attempts allowed. In Layout, you can change the question order. It can be as shown on the edit screen or shuffled randomly. I prefer to shuffle my questions. In question behavior, the default setting is to shuffle the answers within the questions. This means if you have answers A, B, C, D, they may appear out of order on the test B, C, A, D. We recommend this option, but it can be problematic if you have answers that include phrases like all of the above. We highly recommend that you leave your review options on their default settings. Immediately after the attempt, students will be able to see their grade and any overall feedback. They will not be able to see which questions they got right and wrong. This is meant to discourage cheating and keep students from sharing answers. The remaining options are considered advanced, but if you'd like more help with those or have any questions, please just contact our office and we'll be happy to help you. So now we can scroll to the bottom and click Save and Return to Course. The quiz now appears under the appropriate topic, but it doesn't contain any questions yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the quiz, and it tells us that no questions have been added yet. So I'm going to click Edit Quiz here in the administration bar, and you should see a page somewhat like this. You'll have your question bank here on the right side of the screen, and if it's hidden, just click Show, where you see my button that says Hide. You can add questions to your quiz here by just selecting the question and clicking Add to Quiz, or you can add random questions to the quiz down here. This works best when you have extra questions, so you can add 10 random questions from the 15 in your question bank, but you must be sure to select the right category. When you are finished, you can return to your course and your quiz will be ready to go. And that is the basics of creating a quiz in Moodle.